you see them in the parks on a regular basis the other video creators and streamers and stuff and, but there are things that some of them do that i just oh i hate when i see them do this So being a former cast member, former theme park employee, and current YouTube video creator and producer, I'm very aware of a lot of what I see them do and how it affects the parks. There are a lot of very good video creators and streamers out there. There's some great ones. But there is a growing number of ones that, honestly, <laughs> they're annoying. They're frustrating. And they do things that... Let's just say I hate when I see them do these things. And I know some of you are probably in our said, well, hey, I want to be able to create and I want to do this stuff and it looks like fun. And let me give you a, a list of things that as an employee drove me nuts. As an employee, I hated. As a creator, I can't stand when I see people do this. And things that will affect your video quality as well as your relationship with the parks and some of which can actually get you kicked out and banned. So one thing that annoys the crud out of me is when I see people filming and streaming on rides and during shows. Okay, now I have filmed on rides and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit, but you got a lot of people that they will have their screen brightness up full, they're talking and yapping all the way through because they're the center of attention. Hey, look at this show. You can see them bouncing around right over there and it has no... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's, we're here to enjoy the ride and the show, not you. And it annoys everybody around you, and it also means your viewers can't actually enjoy the ride and show for itself. If you've got to say something, whisper. Recording on some rides I can get. Don't stream on it, because then you want to have a conversation. And honestly, it's annoying to hear people talking. If you're on the ride like Peter Pan, you don't want to hear Joe Blow behind you going, isn't it cool? It really, it, that annoys me like nothing else. The lights on the cameras take away from the effects of the ride. So I heard this story recently about one guy that actually gets onto one of the vehicles on Main Street Disney regularly, and then he sings real loud so everybody else will get off and he can have the vehicle to himself. <sighs> okay, if you're going to stream or record on a ride, your phone has this wonderful thing, so does your camera, that will allow you to dim the screen really dark. When I do occasionally record on a dark ride or a show, I will keep the camera or my phone close to me and I will dim the screen so it's nearly black. So that way the light doesn't bother people. It lets people see my view and it doesn't interrupt or interfere with everybody else's ride experience. I have actually had some of my friends laugh at me a little bit because I'll be sitting like this during a ride and that's so that way I can record it but it doesn't bother anybody else and uh, there are certain kinds of rides I will film on and others I don't I do not film on thrill rides I do not film on roller coasters that's because of the safety aspect okay I know people are like well why did you just go get a GoPro guess what I have the GoPro I have the chest harness the problem is when you record with this other people see it and think, hey, this is permission to go do the same thing. I don't know if you noticed how many times people got hit in the head with cell phones on roller coasters this year. It was a lot. And it's because they're trying to imitate this. They're trying to copy it. I won't set a standard that makes people think it's okay to record on roller coasters. Too many people then try to record holding it like this on a thrill ride. And nobody, by the way, wants to see this. That looks terrible. Uh, don't do that. If you want professional on-ride video, use the park stuff. Don't record on rides. Or at least if you're going to do it, don't do it on thrill rides. Don't do it on roller coasters. Don't do it without park permission and supervision of the PR department. Basically, just don't do it. Just don't, <laughs> okay? Okay, Craig is gonna appreciate this. And don't sing loudly or talk loudly or make a commotion. 
to bring attention to yourself during it. Let the attention be on the ride. Something else I hate is when people block the walkways. Okay, I hate anyways when people are walking along and they just stop in the middle of the walkway. Drives me nuts. But when you've got some streamer who's thinking they're all that and they're in the middle of the street blocking people, getting in the way. Okay, bro, you ain't all that. I don't care how many views you have. I don't care how many subscribers you have. Get out of the way. If I'm going to record or stream in a park, I move off to the side. I find a corner of a sidewalk. I find an out of the way area on the walkway. I'll plant on the fence if I need to. Not over the fence or actually on it, but right next to it. Get out of the way of everybody else trying to walk by. Don't block a doorway. <laughs> Use some common sense. If you're walking, you don't want somebody stopping right in front of you. Well, don't be that someone. Just don't. Don't make a scene. My goodness, some of these people, you'd think that they thought that they were like some movie star or rock star. Even if you got a million subs on YouTube or TikTok, that doesn't put you in the same class as a celebrity. It really doesn't. I've had some people, what's it like to be famous? I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I appreciate all the views, but honestly, when it comes, when you compare a YouTube video to a TV commercial, we're small fry. We're really small fry. And you have to keep that in perspective. I love that I have good relationships with the parks. I work on that. But I also realize that at best in a year, I might drive a couple hundred people to Silver Dollar City versus an attendance of a one to two million. Silver Dollar City doesn't need my business. I really don't affect them that much. But they're very gracious to me because I do have that relationship and I am free publicity. Disney doesn't care who I am because I'm nowhere near. You gotta have 100,000, 200,000 subscribers and constant views like that for Disney to even notice you. And you got people that are doing 500 subs and they're thinking that they're ha having an influence on the park? Nope, you're not. <laughs> They don't need you. Stop thinking you're big stuff when you're not. Don't create a scene. Don't sit there and think that people should recognize you. Don't be looking for people to want your autograph. <sighs> you're not all that. <laughs> Another thing that we hated is when people would try to get into backstage areas, employee access only areas that they don't belong in. There are a couple YouTubers that have made their names famous for doing this and going into employee only areas, areas that are closed, areas they shouldn't be, and getting a big ton of views. Here's my deal. If somebody's in a backstage area, I will not watch their videos because you're encouraging them to break the rules. You're encouraging them to break the law, to risk their own safety. It's a huge no-no. It's gonna get you banned from the parks. It's gonna get you kicked out. And when you watch somebody that does that, you're encouraging them to do it. So this is something that I have a big beef with. Please don't encourage streamers to do that. Don't ask them to go to places they're not supposed to. Don't be watching that video of people climbing things that they shouldn't in parks and going areas because you encourage them to do it. So yes, as a viewer, act responsible a little bit so that way these dinglings doing things they shouldn't don't think it's cool we shouldn't encourage bad behavior when they get views it encourages them don't be going to those areas you have no business there unless you are walking with a park pr crew who's walking you there and they have given you permission to film in that spot and um let's just be honest with most of you guys that ain't gonna happen so don't period treat the park employees kindly listen to them oh my i have seen some guys i've seen this where these guys are streaming and the park employee is asking them to get out of the way to move to not walk someplace to just get out of the garden to sit down to turn their cameras off and they ignore them do you know who i am i'm special uh, no you're not that special Listen to the employees. Treat them nicely. I have, I've personally have had a couple guys when I worked at the train Silver Dollar City treat me like junk because they're special. We don't have to wait in the regular line. Sir, you don't have a skip the line pass. You don't have a PR pass. Go get in line. And then when you start 
talking down to me as an employee, uh, guess what? I ain't going to work with you and I don't care how well you're known. I'm going to make it a whole lot harder on you. Be nice to the cast members and to the employees. I did have one guy when I was at the train, he was just starting out and I won't say who it is, but he came down and he was really sweet and nice. He says, hey, I want to get some pictures of the train. Where's the, a great place to do it? Where's the safest place so I'm out of your way? Um, and he was just really sweet and nice and wanted to get information and listen to everything we said. Well, <laughs> this guy got to stand in a couple places that we normally wouldn't point guests to. We got him some up-close stuff that was still within bounds of safety limits. But we let him do some things and for, uh, talk to some people that most guests wouldn't have had an opportunity to because he was nice and respectful and wanted our advice and didn't puff himself up. He didn't tell us how to do our jobs. And it, oh, the goodness, those guys that tell the employees how to do their jobs. <sighs> you want to get on a cast member's last nerve? Tell them how to do their job instead of listening to them. Yeah, bad mojo. And have respect for the other people in the park. I don't know if you've noticed when I film in the park, if you're filming in a park, you're going to have guests in your video. There are a whole bunch of legalities. It's considered a public place. Uh, the parks allow people to take pictures and video. So there is an, uh, an actual legal concept that if you were in the background crowd, that you can be filmed. It actually even says it on your tickets usually. However, when you are streaming, do not make other people that are not part of your party the focus of your video. You're streaming, you can have general crowd shots, but do not center in and focus in on somebody that you don't have permission to do that because then you make them the subject of the video versus the park. Uh, for example, if you're going to go meet a character, don't film other families, especially kids, meeting those characters if they're not part of yours because then you can run into issues there have been a few times that i have recorded other people meeting characters uh ain't some kids but i've always done it with permission i've talked to the people online wow you guys just look amazing would it be okay if i filmed you when you're up there here's who i am here's where you could see it and so when i have shot video and pictures of other people i've always asked and gotten permission so when you see other people that are the focus of my pictures, they're people that I've talked to first and they know what they're doing and they know that they're in it. But if it's general crowd shot, I try very hard to make sure I'm not focusing on just one or two people, but letting just the crowd mingle behind me just because it can run into issues. And some people honestly are going to get upset if you do that. So don't do it. Focus on your group. Be respectful of other people in the park. So gear, um, <laughs> I see some some streamers come in with these huge setups. They look like they're filming a professional TV show. Don't do it. When I go into the parks anymore, I carry around this guy. This is a little pistol grip that holds my cell phone right there. I can actually split it out into a mini tripod and put it down that way. This is my main piece of gear to hold my cell phone which is my main camera i have a camcorder as well which is actually recording right now uh, so i do use a camcorder for other footage that's my biggest gear if i'm traveling around i will also use this i do not take this into the park this is a miniature tripod that holds again the cell phone this is great at hotels and stuff i don't carry it in the park for this reason because it's too easy for people to go and then you hit somebody in the head or you whack somebody. Don't do selfie sticks in the parks. Disney has an absolute ban on them. They will take it away and, and toss them. Uh, so do most of the Six Flags parks and others. Just don't do it. You can carry something like this. This little guy cost me 15 bucks. Same basic idea. It's a pistol grip. They'll hold on a clip for your phone or you can actually screw your camera onto it. it works great. About the biggest setup you should carry in a park, and I've done this, I don't do it anymore, is this kind of a setup. You can buy the L brackets, you can get the microphone, plug it into your camera, and carry it around, and some people use a DSLR camera there. I just found it was just so much gear to carry, I don't like carrying that much stuff. I like carrying small bags instead of huge backpacks anymore. So I don't carry this much, 
But this is about as big a year. I've seen some people with uh, multiple selfie sticks holding the cameras way out and other stuff and then lights. and <sighs> All of that stuff about blocking the walkway, being respectful to others and everything else. This kind of a setup can get you some great footage, especially if you have a good camera. This camera was not a good one. This camera was a big disappointment, honestly. And I honestly, I would not mind doing something like this again uh, to be able to capture rides and crowds and stuff like that. For the most part, this guy right here is great. And then you're also not going to look like um, something you're not and make a big production and block the walkways and cause a commotion and seeing everything with a whole lot of gear. Keep it simple. It's going to be easier to carry for you anyways. And modern cell phones, they shoot 4K footage. This is my cell phone footage right now. I use it all the time in the park. It shoots great. Use your cell phone. <laughs> or get a small mirrorless camera or something. Don't carry a bunch of gear. It'll, it'll Honestly, you will win points with uh, the people in the parks if you don't have a ton of stuff to carry. So there's a bunch of stuff that I hate and how you cannot be that and how you cannot support that and how you can do it right. Uh, I hope that you found this fun and interesting. Let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. Be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit share the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you as well to my patrons, my supporters. They help make a lot of this possible, including some of this gear that I've got. I'm working on upgrading a couple things. You may actually, if all goes well, see something like this again with me if I can get a better camera. And uh, so much more. If you want to know more about the financial support, please check the description below. Thank you so incredibly much for watching. God bless. The first thing that you really need to be aware of... <laughs> okay. Huh. So the first thing that drove me nuts is when video creators think that they are the center of the universe. No, that's not the first thing. Ah, <sighs> all right. By the way, the equipment that people use... Uh, okay, uh, I'll come back to that one. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to know about my merchandise and fan pages and more, be sure to check the description below. If you'd like to know whenever I've got a new video posted up, make sure you hit that button right up there and subscribe. If you want to see another of my videos right now, well, I've got a great one for you right here. And if you'd like to be like these wonderful people here and support me financially on Patreon, well, make sure you check that link right there. There's all sorts of perks and benefits. Thank you so much and God bless.